The U.S. Air Force's scientific research wing is giving Lockheed Martin $26.3 million for the design, development, and production of a high-power fiber laser, which it expects to start testing on a tactical fighter jet in four years. Sounds cool and certainly futuristic, but the jury is still out on whether these weapons have any real tactical value. Outstream video. It sounds like science fiction, but lasers, formerly known as directed energy weapons, have been used by the U.S. Army's ground forces for years. But now, the Pentagon's Air Force Research Lab, AFRL, wants to take the next step and give these seemingly futuristic weapons a set of wings. As announced earlier this week, Lockheed Martin was awarded the contract as part of AFRL's Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator, SHIELD, program. Lockheed Martin continues to rapidly advance laser weapon systems and the technologies that make them possible, said Rob Afzal, a Lockheed laser weapons expert, in a statement. We have demonstrated our ability to use directed energy to counter threats from the ground and look forward to future tests from the air as part of the shield system. Earlier this year, Lockheed unveiled a 60-kilowatt class laser that can be installed on trucks, such as the heavy expanded mobility tactical truck, the U.S. Army's largest ground vehicle. But now Lockheed has to make a laser that can be installed onto a fighter jet, no small task given that laser systems tend to be big and heavy. There are also energy hogs that need to cool both during and after use. The new laser will need to work in a tight, compact environment and be immune to the effects of vibrations, temperatures, and tremendous G-forces. At the same time, the system cannot impair aeronautic performance.